right. We are finally here. We just finished checking out that Kendrick Lamar diss with Metro and Future like that. And we found out it's really like that. But now we got J. Cole's seven minute drill. And before we get into this, I just finished checking out the Kendrick one. And then I have people messaging me, the same people messaging me that told me to check out this seven minute drill. They told me they wanted me to check out the beef and get into it. And then I finally do. And then they're messaging me, hey, you might not want to check out that seven minute drill now because Cole just apologized. What do you mean, Cole apologized? I just, I just started the beef. What do you mean? I don't know. I did not check out the apology yet, but I am going to check it out right after this. I didn't want to check it out beforehand because I feel like it's going to take some of the sting out of the punches that are in this. And it definitely intrigues me because what did he say on this that he felt he needed to apologize for? He must have went crazy. And I'm excited to find out if he did. But like, man, like you really felt that bad? You were like, damn, I shouldn't have said that. But <laughs> I don't know, but we're about to find out. And then we're going to go check out the apology. Either way, I appreciate y'all tuning in, especially if you came over from the Kendrick video and you're still rocking with me. Hit that subscribe button. Keep it locked. We about to jump right into this one. Seven minute drill. J. Cole. Thank you for tuning in. It's your boy Snake Venom S to the V. Let's get it. Turn it up. Yeah, turn the vocal up. Uh, light work, like it's PWC. It's a cold world. Keep the heat under your seat. I got a phone call. They say that somebody dissing. You want some attention? It come with extensions. My dog, like, say the word. He on bullshit. He itching. I'm putting so much work in these streets. He got pension. I told him, chill out. I look having henchmen of shots get to popping. I'm the one doing the clinching. I came up in a veil, so I'm good. If shots get to popping, I'm the one doing the clinching. Oh, he's returning fire. Hey, if shots get to popping, I'm the one returning the fire. And he's not just clenching the trigger on the gun, he's talking about I'm clenching that pen right now. Since you want to hop on the track and diss me, time for me to clench my pen and let's go to work, son. Also, how I look having henchmen. Like, yeah, I got homies that are down the ride for me, and we heard Kendrick talk about his security. They'll squeeze the trigger if they need to. But Cole said, look, I, I got homies that are down for me, but I don't need to hire any help. I'll handle you myself. Oh, man, see, that that hits. But then now knowing that he's he apologized, that takes some of the sting out of it. Oh, man, I like that, too. I like that energy. But we're we going to run this back. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Ah, this light work. He even told him this light work from the jump. Like, bro, you light work. I handle you. I handle you. This be easy. But light work, like his PWC, is also like the electric company. You pay the light bill and they keep your lights on. Mmm, let's go. Yeah. Turn it up. Light work, like it's PWC, it's a cold world, keep the heat under your seat, I got a phone call, they say that's... Mm, cold world, keep the heat under your seat, and we've heard Cole mention in different tracks, cold world, real cold world, them boys cool, me, I'm on fire, All right, cold world, cold world, he's saying he has to get cold-blooded right now and become a cold-blooded killer because Kendrick came at him, but cold world, keep the heat under your seat, so cold, heat, and he's also talking about keeping the heater under the seat. Keep that thing on you if you really got a problem. And then you have heated seats in your car. But also, he's putting Kendrick on the hot seat. He's heating that seat up. I like that. See, it's a cold world. Keep the heat under your seat. I got a phone call. They say that somebody dissing. You want some attention. It come with extensions. My dog, like, say the word. He on bullshit. He mm. itching. Nah, you dissing and you want some attention? So now you dissing me. It's going to come with extension. So I'm going to extend this attention to you. But he's also talking about the extended barrel on the gun. 
Some attention, it come with extensions. My dog, like, say the word. He on bullshit, he itching. I'm putting so much work in these streets, he got pension. I told him, chill out. How I look, having henchmen. If shots get to popping, I'm the one doing the clinching. I came up in the veil, so I'm good when it's tension. He's still doing shows, but fell off like the Simpsons. Your first oh, shit was classic. Nah, Yo, <laughs> He done told him he fell off. Ain't no way. Ain't no way he fell off like the Simpsons. Come on. The Simpsons have been around forever, like 35, 40 years. What are they on, like season 35 or something right now? I used to watch the Simpsons all the time, but he right. They did. The quality kind of went down. You know, they're not as consistent as they used to be with good episodes. But, hey, he's telling Kendrick, like, look, man, you know, you were at the height. Like the Simpsons, but now you on you on that descent because you fell off the peak now. Oh! If shots get to popping, I'm the one doing the clinching. I came up in the veil, so I'm good when it's tension. He's still doing shows, but fell off like the Simpsons. Your first shit was mm. clap. Right there, right there. Okay, all right. I came up in the veil. So look, you might be from Compton, homie, but I'm from Fayetteville. So what's really hood? And then. Listen, you still doing shows, so I give you credit. I give you so he's admitting like, hey, you still selling out arenas, you still doing shows, you still you still good, you still at the top, but you're not on the peak anymore. You're not on the peak, not happening. Good when it's tension, he's still doing shows, but fell off like the Simpsons. Your first shit was classic, your last shit was tragic. Your second shit put niggas to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third shit was massive, and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind. Whoa, 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 hold up. Nah, if you really want to get at somebody, you come at their body of work. You start questioning their body of work. Because that's what they hold near and dear. That's them as an artist right there. They put all that love and passion into their work. And he's questioning his work. Your first shit was classic. Your last shit was tragic. Oh, come on. Come on. Your second shit, they gassed it. It put him to sleep. Bro, hold up. We running that back. Your first shit was classic, your last shit was tragic Your second shit put niggas to sleep but they gassed it Your third shit was massive and that was your prime I was trailing right mm, behind mm. So if your first shit was classic But he ain't talking about section 80, right? Okay, you gotta be talking about Good Kid Man City Because that is a classic But your first shit was classic, so you gotta be talking about he just skipping over section 80? Like it don't exist? Like, nah, nah, son, get that out of here. And then your last shit was tragic, so Mr. Morale was not keeping the morale up. And then your second shit put people to sleep, but they gassed it anyways. Is that, he talking about to pimp a butterfly, right? Uh, see, it's all subjective, though, because people enjoy different albums for different reasons. But I get it. He's still coming at the body of work, so it don't matter. It still has that effect. And then your third shit, that was your prime. Damn. That was your prime. And now, ever since then, you fell off like The Simpsons. He's right, because, like, that was massive. I think Damn is his high. I think that's Kendrick's highest-selling album, right? He right, though, but... It's all subjective, man, because there, there's plenty of artists where some people will prefer one album to be like, this other one's trash. Hey, it's all subjective, man. Simpsons, your first shit was classic. Your last shit was tragic. Your second shit put niggas to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third shit was massive, and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and I just now hit mine. Now I'm front of the line with a comfortable lead. How I run it, so I got it. Now he wants something with me. Well, he caught me at the oh. curve. <laughs> oh hey you were all good you were all cool when i was trailing behind you but now that i'm front of the line you got a problem with me now you want something from me huh i'm i'm front of the line with a comfortable lead he said he already passed you homie he done passed you you were you were in the passing lane move over we gone oh now he wants a problem with me because i'm in the lead People always aiming at the ones at the top, so he's really talking his shit now. Prime, I was trailing right behind, and I just now hit mine. Now I'm front of the line with a comfortable lead. How I run it, so I got it. Now he wants something with me.
Well, he caught me at the perfect time. Jump up and see why I got here off of bars. Not no controversy. Funny uh. thing about it, bitch, I don't even want the prestige. Fuck the Grammys, cause them crackers ain't never done nothing for me. Hope oh. I my ah, Come on. Yo, this shit is this shit is hitting too. This is hitting. But I'm still like, oh man, now that I'm in the know that there's even an apology out there. Ah, oh, damn, this would have hit so much harder. I shouldn't have read the message. I shouldn't have read the message. Oh, come on. This should be hitting though. And then as soon as I remember, I'm like, but he apologized. Oh, come on. All right, let's run this back. Let's break this down. Come on. I run it so I got it. Now he wants something with me. Well, he caught me at the perfect time. Jump up and see why I got here off of bars. Not no controversy. Funny thing about it, bitch, I don't even want the- Oh, come on. I got here off of bars. Not no controversy. <sighs> hey, you're right, though, because Kendrick, he is, like, known for picking and choosing all these controversial topics to talk about. And that puts him in the limelight. But Cole's like, I don't even got to stir up controversy. I'm just really that nasty when it comes to penmanship. I got here off of bars. Not no controversy. And look, hey, he's right though. Because Kendrick, again, controversy. Dropping a diss on Cole and Drake. There's controversy. I mean... Why I got here off of bars, not no controversy Funny thing about it, bitch, I don't even want the prestige Fuck the Grammys, cause them crackers ain't never done nothing for me Ho, slugs took my nigga so Ooh, Nah, he right, he right, fuck, fuck the Grammys they ain't, done, they ain't never done nothing for me And he called them crackers too, because it was an all-white panel, right? Isn't that what it was that the Grammys was all just white panelists Picking and choosing their favorites and he said, fuck the Grammys because Kendrick, every time they were nominated in the same category, Kendrick's the one who won the award. But he said, I don't need no fucking award. And it's true, you don't. The awards don't prove that you're the best necessarily. If you know you fucking nice with it, you nice with it. Plain and simple. He proven he nice right now, too. He's fuck the Grammys cause them crackers ain't never done nothing for me Ho, slugs took my nigga soul Drugs took another one A rap beef ain't realer than the shit I seen in Cumberland He averaging one hard burst like every 30 months or something If he wasn't dissing then we wouldn't be discussing huh? Lord don't make me have to smoke this You hear that low treble in his voice too? That was the quadruple underline He underlined that when he wrote it down <laughs> If he wasn't dissing then we wouldn't be discussing Huh? Mm. He's right though. You got one hard verse every 30 months or something. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey, no way. Now nah, he really coming for his neck. You got one hard verse every 30 months or something. And if you weren't even dissing me and Drake right now, we wouldn't even be discussing you. We wouldn't hear from you. You on a hiatus, homie. Where you at? Hey, don't nobody know. But that's kind of hey. Listen, listen, good things take time, all right? Good things take time. You know, Eminem be taking his hiatuses for like 10 years, and then he'll drop an album. Everybody's ready for it. Ah, if he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing. Huh? That's, I love that low tone, that treble. Mmm. Three months or something. If he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing him. Huh? Lord, don't make me have to smoke this nigga because I fuck with him. But push come to shove on this mic, I will humble him. Nino with this thing, it's that New Jack City name. Yeah. Hey, he, just, he just used, he flipped humble on him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So from the damn album, we got humble. Hey, oh my goodness. Please don't make me smoke him. Please, I'll humble him. If push comes to shove, now we just run that back. And we wouldn't be discussing him. Huh? Lord, don't make me have to smoke this nigga because I fuck with him. But push come to shove on this mic, I will humble him. Nino with this thing. Come on, please don't make me smoke him. Please. Even this right here. This is like a context clue. Please, I don't want to do this because this is the homie. Please don't make me do this. But if push comes to shove, I will humble him. You get out of line. I'm about to clap you. I got to put you down like the family dog. It's a wrap. Ah, you could tell even right there. He's letting us know he did not want to do this. He didn't want to do this. But people were calling him up. He said it at the beginning. They called me up. Here I am in the studio. Ah, damn. 
This was even a context clue. No wonder he apologized. He let you know I'm in the booth and I don't even want to be here right now. He must have something. If he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing. Huh? Lord, don't make me have to smoke this nigga because I fuck with him. But push come to shove on this mic, I will humble him. Nino with this thing. This that New Jack City meme. Yeah, I'm aiming at G-Money crying tears before I busted him. Oh, nah, like, it's even deeper than that. Nah, it's even deeper. Not the New Jack City meme with Wesley Snipes, where he had to point the gun at the homie, and he, he was he was crying those tears. He saw the tears. Look at the Wesley Snipes meme from New Jack City. Th that's him in the booth right now. It's even deeper because he's like, nah, I don't want to smoke. I don't want to smoke him because I really fuck with him. But I'm in the booth right now, and I got to do this. Oh, nah. So just picture him in the booth as Wesley. He's crying right now as he's rapping this. Oh, it was, he was foreshadowing that he was going to apologize. Like, he felt bad the whole time that he had to do this. That's wild, bro. The new Jax. <laughs> City meme. Yeah, I'm aiming at G-Money crying tears before I busted him. Light work. Like it's PWC. It's a cold world. Keep the heat under your seat. I got a phone call. They Yo, that's... That that's the chorus even the yo see now that i i got even more respect for that because the chorus is not just filler if you're coming out with a diss track and you're putting a chorus in it it better not be filler he, he even barred him up in the chorus you see it's a cold world keep the heat under your seat i got a phone call they say that somebody dissing you want some attention it come with extensions my dog like say the word he on bullshit he itching i'm putting so much work in these streets he got pension i told him chill out how i look having henchmen if shots get to popping i'm the one doing the conductor 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 <laughs> We got a beat switch? Oh, nah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, there's a beat switch in here and it sounds muddy too. <sighs> so you telling me we got a beat switch, which means the whole temperature just changed up. It's not just a cold world anymore. The climate just shifted. Ah, we got a beast wish. Are he really about to go in? Okay, I think we're about to find out why he apologized. Because before he was saying this light work, so he giving them those little love taps, just, just, just peppering him with those punches. Oh, all right, all right, let's go, let's go. I got mixed feelings about these fucking rap niggas. It's over for that cap. The official cap pillars two six. We don't act niggas. We get at niggas. Shoot a nigga lights out. Yeah, my dog stat fillers stat stuff is triple. Ah. We don't just at them because we're not. Nah, nah, not that social media. I'ma at you. Nah, we ain't thumb thugging. We really get at them. Like, like we really get at them in the streets. Mm, I like, I see the energy, the climate, everything just changed. You can feel it and you can hear it in his voice. Mm, switch that flow on up. Niggas, it's over for that cap. The official cap pillars two six. We don't act niggas. We get at niggas. Shoot a nigga lights out. Yeah, my dog. Stat filler, stat stuff is triple double. Get your ass black duffel. Body bag, body bag, body bag. Cold world. Oh, no. <laughs> Body bag, body bag, body bag. You heard the zips. The, uh, he was hitting the zippers on him. He closing up the body bags. Nah, this this right here. So remember in Kendrick, on like that, he started that verse off talking about the coughing out your mouth. He's putting them in the coffins and then he's burying them in the pet cemetery. All them dogs, fuck all them dogs. Well, pause, don't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't don't actually do that. Now nah, that's weird. But not nah, just Anyways, he, he done killed all the dogs and he buried them in the pet cemetery. Now, Cole said, I got body bags, body bags, body bags. And that was, notice that was three body bags. So that's for Kendrick, Future, and Metro. Oh, we running this back. Nigga lights out. Yeah, pillars two six. We don't act niggas. We get at niggas. Shoot a nigga lights out. Yeah, my dog. Stat filler, stat stuff is triple double. Get your ass black duffel. Body bag, body bag, body bag. Oh, nah, hold up, hold up. We gonna shoot your lights out. The stat fillers. 
come on, we shooting your lights out as in we're shoot we're putting you out. Like, homie, you're gone. So you're going talking about the gun, we shooting your lights out, but also, you know, Cole can ball, homie, on the court. He is lethal. So balling out, we're gonna shoot the lights out of the gym. Stat fillers, because you fill the stat sheets, but also if you if you dead and your lights get shot out. You become another statistic. Ah, come on. Come on. The triple double. Come on. Come on. That was nasty. There's let's go. Let's let's go. There's layers, boy. Yeah, that nigga shoot a nigga lights out. Yeah, my dog. Stat filler, stat stuff is triple double. Get your ass black duffel. Body bag. Body bag. Body bag. Ah, come on. The stat stuffers, the black duffels, the triple doubles. So the triple doubles ties into the basketball part of the scheme because you get a triple double in basketball. But he you notice what he just did there with the body bag. Body bag, body bag. Body bag is two words. He said it three times. So the double words, three times. A triple double. That was nasty. Mm. Now nah, I like that scheme. Yo ass black duffel, body bag, body bag, body bag. Cold world, your instructor for Pilates class. Get a nigga stretched if I feel a disrespect. Uh, your arms might be too short to box. Come on, Cole. Nah, to see, this is that different type of energy. Ever since that beat switch, he is barring him up. He told you, I'm a Pilates instructor. I'm a Pilates instructor, and I'm going to get you stretched out. Come on. Pilates, you stretch your muscles and everything in Pilates class, but no, when you get stretched out, he's talking about sending you out on a stretcher. Like, he really put your lights out. Y'all seen the WWE matches with the stretchers? They get stretchered out, or if somebody gets their lights put out, like, permanently, anything. Like, homie, I will put you down, and they will have to stretcher you out of here. Class, get a nigga stretched if I feel a disrespect. Your arms might be too short to box with the God who lives his life without the pressures of a constant facade. I pray for peace, but if a nigga sees these positive vibes, a Falcon 9 inside my pocket, bitch, this rocket gon' fly. Ah, now it's popping up. Come on. Come on. Your arms is too small to box with the God. We've heard that in plenty of other tracks before they use that same terminology, but your arms is too small to box with the God and now, he's saying that he's levels above Kendrick, but he's also talking about the height differential. Because you got that reach, your arms is too small, so Cole's like, what, 6'3", 6'4", and Kendrick's like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, so his reach is tiny. He's saying, you can't touch me, homie. Yeah, think about it like when you box, when you messing around with your little brother and you're trying to box or something, and he just starts swinging at you and you put your hand on his head. And then he just be swinging. He's like, uh, 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 I'm telling mom, uh, and ma! So he just <laughs> he just sunned him, bro. He just sunned him. Mm. And oh, nah, and then you heard the rocket. He got the rocket in his pocket. Pause. God, who live his life without the pressures of a constant facade. I pray for peace, but if a nigga sees these positive vibes, a Falcon 9 inside my pocket, bitch, this rocket gon' fly. Now it's popping out. God. Oh. I pray for peace, but... It Hey, if you cease these pos these positive vibes, and we know that Cole is Mr. Positivity, Cole isn't about all the violence and the controversy, none of that. He's not all about beefing. You know that. Cole, if you've seen him in interviews or any of his music, he's all about uplifting other people, his homies, his friends. He's about uplifting individuals, those positive vibes. But if you cease that peace treaty right there, I will cease this positive, this, this peace, this I see you with this peace. <laughs> he, said, he said, I pray for peace. That's even another context clue. Right there, he's telling you again, even in this harder part of the verse, I'm telling you, I'm praying for peace. Like, I really, you can tell he's still in the booth right now, and I don't want to do this. I pray for peace, but if you cease the positive vibes, it's going to go for praying for peace. I'm going to have to use this peace. Mmm. That's like, that's that New Jack City meme. Like, please don't make me do this, man. Please don't make me do this. And then I got the Falcon 9 rocket in my pocket. He's going to launch a missile at you. <sighs> Let's go. Positive vibes of Falcon 9 inside my pocket. Bitch, this rocket gon' fly. Now it's popping outside like the top of July. My text flooded with the hunger for a toxic...
even goes on because it's popping outside like the 4th of July. So popping, popping shots, but also 4th of July, the fireworks, and he's just sent off a rocket. The world exploded when he dropped this, too, because people were flooding me with messages. But I'm finally here, guys. I'm getting caught up. That was popping outside like the top of July. My text flooded with the hunger for a toxic reply. I'm hesitant. I love my brother, but I'm not going to lie. I'm powered up for real. That shit would feel like swatting a fly. Before I he even told us again. My man reiterated it. Like, please, I really don't want to do this. He talked about him being called up at the beginning. Now he's saying... My texts are flooded, hoping for a toxic reply, and he still doesn't want to do it. So all these people are hitting him up like, yo, you got to respond. You got to get him, dog. You got to get at him. The the media, everybody was waiting on it. Because Drake, we don't need to hear nothing from Drake. Drake don't need to respond. Don't do that, Drake. You know what's good for you. And that is not good for your health, homie. But everybody knew Cole could get busy, so they wanted him. They were hungry for it. Now he's in here, and he still doesn't feel right. But July, my text flooded with the hunger for a toxic reply. I'm hesitant, I love my brother, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm powered up for real, that shit would feel like swatting a fly. Four albums in 12 years, nigga, I can divide. Shit, if this is what you want, I'm indulging in violence. Ooh, pictures. Nah, he, hold up. Four albums in 12 years, I can divide. That's like that Jay-Z. Remember Jay-Z and Nas when they had that beef? Jay-Z said that same thing to Nas. He was like, four albums in 10 years, I can divide. He hit him with the jay-z <laughs> come on i can divide lie i'm powered up for real that shit would feel like swatting a fly four albums in 12 years nigga i can divide shit if this is what you want i'm indulging in violence put pictures in my home aim the chrome at your eyelids fly pebbles at your dome i got pictures in my home of you and i aim the chrome at your eyelids this is target practice to him mm. Mm, like swatting a fly. Hey, I don't even know why he talk about swatting a fly, though, because flies be hard to kill sometimes. They be moving out of the way. <laughs> yeah, they be hitting you with the bob and weave. Be like, get your ass over here. But he he's talking about how small he is, too. He's The height jokes again, but I get it. I get it. Four albums in 12 years, nigga, I can divide. Shit, if this is what you want, I'm indulging in violence. Put pictures in my home, aim the chrome at your eyelids. Fly pebbles at your dome, we the Stone Temple Pilots. This is merely a warning shot. Nah, we ain't letting that slide. He said Stone Temple Pilots. Shout out to the Stone Temple Pilots, STP, the grunge era music. And yes, they one of the best. Oh, fly pebbles at your dome, we running that back. Nah, what are you, hold up, dog? This is what you want, I'm indulging in violence Put pictures in my home, aim the chrome at your eyelids Fly pebbles at your dome, we the Stone Temple Pilots This is merely a Fly pebbles at your dome, we the Stone Temple Pilots And he just talked about the chrome So flying the pebbles at your dome, that's the bullets But fly pebbles at your dome, we the Stone Temple Pilots No, the chrome at your eyelids Listen to that rhyme pattern there Chrome at your eyelids, the Stone Temple Pilots. How you piece that together? <laughs> Fly pebbles at your dome. We the Stone Temple Pilots. Yo, it's even more than that. Hold up. Because look at that. Pebbles, stone from Stone Temple Pilots. Dome, temple. Stone Temple Pilots. Fly, pilots. I'm about to walk off right now. I'm about to leave my house. How in the f What the hell, bro? How- What made you come up with that? Mmm. That was nasty. Chrome at your eyelids, fly pebbles at your dome, we the Stone Temple Pilots. This is merely what? a warning shot, the back niggas down, back in the town, where they whipping, working, trafficking pounds. My jack jumping about a rapper, making blast from his sounds. Switching sides like the tassel on the cap and a gown. Ah. A fully loaded nigga, I can drop two classics right now. What? <laughs> Let me chill out, man. Conductor. Fall off on the way, nigga. What? Bro. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh, see that would hit so damn hard if I didn't know there was an apology, man. He got me twisted right now. Mm. He said this was a warning shot too. If that's a warning shot, what's the real thing gonna sound like? Well, I guess we probably not gonna find out if he apologized, but ah, man, this it. 
Ah, hold up, let's run his back, bro. What? Six right now. <laughs> Let me chill out, man. Conductor. Fall off on the way, nigga. Yeah, I could drop two classics right now. Switch the. Oh my god, he said switch sides like the cap and the gown, too. He told him he switched sides on him, but Kendrick, that's how he feels about Cole. He's saying he switched sides now that he boys with Drake. Mmm! Come on! Switch the sides like the cap and the gown because when you graduate, you switch the tassel. And we know Cole is a graduate. He got a degree, but he's saying that he graduated the class. Now he head of the class. And he's telling Kendrick, like, I'm ahead of you now. Switch his sides like the tassel on the cap and the gown. Mm, man. This got me twisted. He said this is a warning shot, too. So this kind of like, you can hear it like in his voice. It was almost like he didn't really want to do this. But he felt like he had to because everybody else made him feel like he had to. This this sounded like, man, this is a warning shot. So he he's saying he didn't even hit him with any of these shots. He's just popping him at his feet and making him dance around a little bit. This is a warning shot. It sounded like, hey, man, listen, I don't want to do this to you, but I will if I have to. So are you sure you really want to fuck with me? You sure you really want to come at me? It was it was one of those where somebody slaps the shit out of you and you look at them and you're like, you sure you want to do this? And then they, you give them that second chance to think. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hold up, bro. It was just a prank. It was a prank. I was playing. I didn't mean it. So that that's kind of how Cole approached it, I guess. You know, ah, man, like this is a warning shot. I, I don't think you really know who you fucking with. Ah, oh, but man, he apologized. Now I gotta go check that out. See, this hits way different now. That shit was good, too. That was a nice, solid track. Good response, good rebuttal. He refuted the things. He even used some of his tracks against him. And like, come on, man. This would have been great if you didn't say nothing. Now I gotta go see why he apologized. Because for that right there, if it's a warning shot, I don't think he needs to apologize. But that's my opinion. I gotta go check it out. Either way, if you're still rocking with your boy, hey, I appreciate you. And if you want to keep rocking with me, I'm gonna go check out the apology and see what the hell happened. So <laughs> y'all be easy. Never greasy. It's your boy Snake Venom S to the V. We out. Peace.